Hello and welcome to Ocean Academe Chemistry 11. Finding percent yield example. The conversion of TiCl4 to TiO2 occurs according to the following reaction. If 15.7 grams of TiCl4 reacts in excess oxygen to form 10.4 grams Cl2, what is the percent yield of the reaction? First, we need to determine our limiting reagent and our excess. And how we do that is we compare moles. So we're given 15.7 grams of TiCl4 and we're given 10.4 grams of Cl2. So we need to convert these two moles. So we put our grams on the bottom, one mole on top, Look to our periodic table and we determine that TiCl4 is 189.9 grams and our Cl2 is 71 grams. Multiplying and dividing, we get 0 0.079 moles of TiCl4 and 0 0.146 moles of Cl2. Now our larger is our limiting reagent, and the other is our excess. We use our limiting reagent to determine our actual yield. And we use our excess to determine our theoretical. Now, percent yield equals our actual yield over our theoretical. So let's look first uh, to our actual yield. So we'll use our 0.146 moles and that's of Cl2 and we need to convert that so we need to apply our ratio so we've got our moles of Cl2 we need to convert that to moles of TiO2 so looking to our equation we see our moles of Cl2 are 2 and our moles of TiO2 is 1 now this gets us to moles of TiO2, but with yield we need grams, so let's convert this to grams. So again, to get rid of moles, we put that on the bottom. Look to our periodic table for TiO2, and we see 79.9 grams. Now we multiply and divide, and we get a value of 5.8518 grams. Let's do the same and find our theoretical yield. So with that, we will be using our, our TiCl4 moles. So that's 0 0.079 moles of TiCl4. And again, we need to apply our ratio. So looking to our equation And converting to TiO2, we get 1 and 1. Now, for yield, we need it in grams. So to get rid of moles, we put moles on the bottom. And look to our periodic table again. We get the same value, 79.9 grams. Now multiplying this out, we get a value of 6.6057. So that's our theoretical yield, and this one was our actual. Now we look back to our equation. Our actual yield was 5.8518, and we're dividing that by our theoretical yield, which is 6.6057. Dividing this, we get a percent yield of 88.6 percent. 